There we go. Ahoy, everyone, and welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Hillian tonight, along with... Hey, it's your mud, Lieutenant Drakir, at your service. And, uh, why? I want to see starting soon on my end. Oh, wait, good. Alright, I have to finish something up, so there we go. Always on top with the preview, because that is how Drakir views everything. That better? Yep, I can see you now. Okay. And... I think I might not cut out the time between just the load-in and us starting, because that music was not there the last time we played this, I'm pretty sure, and that got pretty <laughs> epic. At... So, yeah. Uh, I... I don't know, I missed that sense. Yeah, he, he just yeah, popped up. Close. I, I, or maybe I'm, I'm just forgetting. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, welcome back. <laughs> Welcome back to Partisans 1941, and I get the feeling things may... Yeah, here it starts up again. I'm getting the feeling that this uh, is going to change as we go in through the game, because there's still plenty of spots left for people here, like at least one, two, three, maybe a fourth character as well. And that's not even any people who could just grab a, <laughs> grab a log or a chair. Yeah, I think we see some extra characters doing the tutorials, doing the screen and such. Okay. So, I think there are more. Now, last time we started with the game and we <laughs> we started out as partisans and we messed up a tank. So, it'll be some time again until we get uh, news on a new <clears throat> on a new main objective. So in the meantime, we have some skills. Let's see, news from the front lines. Donbass, the industrial heart of the USSR, is in the hands of the fascists. In the local rumors, the fascists are conducting public executions using, using every excuse imaginable. Every day someone gets killed. Yeah. Uh, that's one thing with... That's... Hmm a bit 50-50 with resistance fighting because well they are they are, they are going to fight it back and take it out on just the, the the public but on the other hand they would be doing that anyways yeah now let's so now see. I'm finally seek the owner share it took me longer before I needed to find my damn socks let's see we have a railroad war Prisoners supervised by the Germans are restoring the old narrow gauge railway. We have a chance to take the enemy by surprise, disrupt their plans, and liberate the prisoners. That would be really good for us, because that would mean we potentially get more people. And even if not them, we uh, they just run off to do their own thing and be nuisances, possibly. Uh, let's see. The fascists responding to our earlier axes are conducting a manhunt in a nearby village. We can head there and stop them. Let's see, they could get us painkillers and pistol ammo. And then there's just the household stuff like fishing, gathering, and making the workshop. Hmm. I think we should go do this. Ooh, did it? Okay, it's lower chance than what we typically have done, but we are playing on easy, so it normally would probably be even lower than this. It'll cost us 50 supply. But we'll get a lot of experience, and our morale will increase yet more. So, we're set to do that. And let's see. Did we get unlucky with the 15% chance? Hmm. Let's see. Okay, we killed the guards and set the prisoners free. Okay. And, yeah, everyone has experience. Nobody needs to be tended to, I hope. Let's see. Skill points. We can get one for you. Heavy weapons. Strength for carrying bodies. Oop. Accidentally clicked out. Hmm. I think we should go... I think we should keep Zorin as our assassin, basically. So, yeah, let's go with this one. Let's you are going to be our spy. It's probably a good idea to give them a rifle later. 
chest. Yeah. Always good to have, but uh, we usually do you try to use stealth as much as possible early on. Okay. Which means when we do end up having a gunfight, it hopefully will be in our favor. Definitely. Preferably. Okay, you are our most effective combatant at the moment. And I think I'll actually save your skill points. <clears throat> I don't think we have many, if any, grenades left. And we haven't run into heavy weaponry yet. Uh, we did find an SMG, so you will be able to use that and hand the rifle over to Zorin. Even though he hasn't too trained for it at the moment. Hmm. Okay. Let's see. Rumors. The village head of Zaborovka is one of the most zealous among the traders. He works hard to identify the suspicious and the unreliable, especially among the people he has personal quarrels with. Of course. Uh, oh. More rumors. Beermeyer has organized additional harvesting work. Women and children are toiling in the fields from sunrise to sundown. Uh, yeah, times like these is always when the absolute worst of people will come out of the woodworks to make things worse. Uh. Let's see. We are in maximum mor morale at the moment. So there's no need for that. And it, okay, these do differ each day. They don't stick around too much. Let's see. There should be a stash left behind uh, by a retreating army in the forest in square 15. Let's find it. Oh, a burnt out MP40. Okay. Can never go really wrong with those. Or propaganda. We're already at maximum capacity with uh, morale, so I doubt we can push past it. We yep. did do use we... up. Uh, go ahead. Wait, was it... What do they mean, burnt out? I'm guessing that uh, it's been used a lot or something. Hmm. Hmm. We'll find out when we grab it. Because we have no need for further propaganda and we don't have the materials to make a workshop. I'm gonna so guess we one, can use the workshop two. to, well, repair since hmm. you do need to do maintenance on guns after all. Yeah, actually, I think I'll set you to fish so we have some food income. We will probably start and we'll probably run into points. Yep. Like, we. There's probably going to be more characters, so we'll be consuming more food as we go. So it's probably good to have a, somewhat of a stockpile. Yep, you two. It would probably be a better idea to send a kid to go fishing instead of... Not this, this shouldn't involve combat, but still. There. Past the bay. Sooner or later, we're likely going to be at a point where we can't make as much food as we use each day without well, actively working on food every time. Oh, mission day. Let's see. Fishing went well. We got 22 foods. And we found a stash with the SMG ammo and some extra experience. Okay. Now, what's this with mission day? We didn't... Nothing to report. Secret ingredient. The fascists are forcing people into the fields to harvest whatever is left out there. The crops will be sent to the front. We can't hijack the food train, but we can poison the provisions heading for shipment. Okay. Well, here we go. Yeah, poisoning food is, well, also really questionable. But... Yeah, it, yep. this, this is an extermination war. They are basically trying to eradicate everyone who is not among, among their own ranks. And honestly speaking, they <laughs> just they turn just as easily among uh, on everyone in their ranks as well. Yeah, no, here's me. That might sound good on paper to poison the uh, rations. Probably is. Uh... It can just as easily backfire. Yeah. It says you want to be sure it's the right rushes you try to do it for for you, for you know the wrong ones. It can be affect either your own ranks or your own people, like 
There's so much I can do wrong. Yeah. Okay, you keep the shotgun. Let's hand over all the other stuff, mostly. I think... Uh, I think yeah, I think there's one. I don't think. I'm sure I've seen it too often in movies and games and such. Is there like when the resistance plan to poison water supply? To poison the enemy? Yeah, you had a problem there right away, don't you? Yeah, because that's going to be staying poisoned for a long while, and it's also going to affect everyone else the crops, yeah, the like, cattle. Like, if there's a water tower that's only for that group. That may limit it, but if there's a water tower that's kinda, or actually any source that's open to the public, yeah, you're gonna kill not only the enemy, but also the entire friendly side as well, so. Yeah. Okay. Let's hand you the rifle. So, yeah, if the people want to support the resistance forces, which is sometimes they can become. Several different groups. Try to identify which ones are the extremists and get rid of them. Definitely. Okay, actually, yeah. These are different weapon uh, the ammo types. So let's give you a stack of each of those. Uh, Zorin, you have a stack of ammo. Just to be mm. certain, let's give you a second one. You already have two stacks, but let's fill up the second. Uh, let's fill up both. I'm probably taking more ammo than I really need, but better to have too much ammo than too little, I'd say. Also, to save space, let's put that there. These are spy slash magic medic at the moment, until we get someone who would might be a better medic. Him? Hmm. Do you almost, almost say magic? <laughs> Maybe. Let's see, we have no... We have no uh, reconnaissance, so we have no idea of how the place looks. Okay, here we go. Uh, members of the Ordens, Dienst, and other organizations, colloquially known as the Polizei, Turncoats, and Renegades, the Germans usually arm them with inferior weaponry and send them to maintain order in the villages. Not particularly dangerous. Yeah. Our mission is to poison the provisions that the Germans sent to the front. Locals have stashed the poison for us in a hive at the apiary. Said it was the safest place. The bees are like partisans. They won't let the fascists anywhere near them. Well, I hope they don't mistake us for them. After that, we infiltrate the warehouse and poison the supplies. Okay, I'm guessing they... Make it look like a partisan raid so they don't suspect anything. We'll ambush the convoy and shoot our way out. Great thinking. They'll fall for that. Okay, I'm not particularly seeing why we need to go out loud. Because that would make them suspicious, or maybe it would be more to hurry them along to get them moving so they don't inspect them too particularly. Yeah, it might be. For if you do it loud, just before they do the inspections, Affirmative. Easy now. Yeah, you would end up trying to force them out. Like they don't have time to just feel like, okay, we need to get move on quickly and all that. Okay, we've got three here at the moment. Okay. I want to be useful. I can do make it. yourself useful. Okay, we. You move side to side, I'm guessing. And or the, yeah, no, you. Wait. One of them moves. Not okay, yeah, there's another one. Hmm? Oh no! I think I just remembered. In this era, it was common to see tractors with track wheels. Mm, yep. But I think in most areas it kind of quickly died out to, um, I think there were some issues with it on the, if using those on the farm. Hmm. Yeah, it would probably tear up the ground a lot. Like, yeah, you're supposed to plow the ground, but you see yourself. You could also ruin the plowing. I'll trade something. Right. 
I would not be surprised if they are kind of practical in the, you know, areas that get extremely cold. He's going down. Provided you maintain them, of course. Okay, grab you. Oh. Yeah. They are quite loud when they're carrying those around. Okay. It's mine. Hmm. Let me actually test something. If we remove this from your active weaponry and put in another knife, because it looks like unless we have one equipped, we can't uh, actually use the ability. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, he looks a bit young to be the head of the family, huh? It must mean that any every adult male has likely been executed. Uh. Ink's waking up on the windowsill, so we'll see if we have a case of ink interference today. Oh, bloody game! You have a task for me. I'll tread softly. <laughs> the fly. Yeah. Actually, made me ready to think it, it was one next to my ear. One down. Okay. Pick you up. And go hide you. Okay. So you just have some scrap on you. Okay. I'm listening. Alexa is keeping at the back. I'll let's see. Them. Let's let's have him explore outwards a little bit. Sneaking around. Okay. Yeah, that is where we need to plant the pl the poison. Looks like for the most part we are clear over here, unless there's like a, a bunch more over here somewhere. Okay, just one that we can see at the moment. Calm down. Okay. We can nap this one once that one has gone to... <clears throat> we can nap this one when that one is back over there. And then we can nap them while the, he comes back. Okay. Chew on that swine. Okay, cool down. Actually, not. It can't be used anymore. Is that because you're carrying? Okay, no, so we need to retrieve the knife before we can use it again. That is probably balancing to ensure that you don't... Or actually... It what? Hmm. I'll check, in a, I'll check in a sec. It's probably because, well, he didn't have an actual weapon equipped there for a bit. So, what if we do this? Then swap weapons... Does it become usable? No. Okay, so there's no real need for us to carry any more knives except Thanks for one. Me. Okay. It is, it is probably a good thing for... Let's be honest. If you could do almost like if you did in that other game... Commandos 2. Yeah, in this game I could see it becoming quickly a... Um, Overpowered bit. Yeah. Like, mm. sure, this isn't a PvP game, so you need to balance it as much, but you probably want still to give some balance to make sure that uh -huh. you're not easily gonna win the game by only using throwing knives. Yeah. Because as fun as it was in Commandos 2 with the diver, yeah, it did make things a a tiny bit more easy than it probably should have. Yeah, okay. it did almost make things harder in some cases. 
Let's go. Let's see. Some more food we can nab. Okay, I, I do like that the civilians will actually react uh -huh. when, uh, when we get near. Okay. Here. Now you head over I there for a sec. Let's see. Yeah, that's the one who probably was over here earlier. Okay. The Russian können nichts verschicken. The Russians can't something. Not sure what that was. Okay, are you going to move at all? Hmm? I'll tread softly. Or are you just going to be looking around? It looks yes. to be the former. Or just looking hmm. at... Yeah, they're just looking around only. Uh, okay. But it's sort, of, sort of a clear my throat a lot. I apparently have something in my throat. That's a bit stubborn. Hmm. Oh, right, can't save whilst he's in... Uh, whilst he is in disguise. You have a task okay. for me. Okay. Take the poison from the beehive. Oh, Don't oh. raise the alarm. Okay, just going to put you in hiding here for a second, and now now we're going to hear a bunch of bees, aren't we? Yeah, bees can be really dangerous, but typically they tend to only be to anyone who is... Uh, yeah, they are who anyone who they are pace perceiving as a threat to the hive. Which, well, it's de <laughs> it depends on the perception of the bloody bees. So you could just be doing something totally innocuous and still get your ass stung. So yeah, still best to be careful around the bastards. <clears throat> Yeah, so I want to be useful. Oh god, they, they come in different varieties. So like, if you see beehive on a wall or in a tree, you such those you can easily avoid. But there's a certain bee type that's oh, I probably just more horrifying due to you could accidentally step on them. But those are the bees that build the nest in the earth. Yeah. Okay, you quickly hide and that my, guy. My, uh, <laughs> my relatives accidentally did that once. So we all had to run inside while the damn thing swarmed the house. <laughs> and, uh, as it, we call them in, in Swedish, uh, I think, Jude Bean? Earth bees, basically. And here we have okay. I don't know what they are officially call in English, though. So, for mm. Timber, let me just call them Earth bees. Okay, let's hand you one of the knives, mm? just to be extra safe. That if we, if it comes down to it, he will be able to defend himself. Let's okay. see. Uh, well, all right. Earth bees are apparently more oh. aggressive. Okay. So, uh, yeah, again, as I did not say, oh. well, a relative of my stepped on a nest and they chased us all the way to the damn house. Okay, that could have ended badly because I accidentally had him run over as well. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. I don't know which of my is who it was who stepped there, but I forgot that at the moment, but again, I'll tread softly. I'm on it, it was a horrifying you experience. Are you are there. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Okay, I, I just realized I was being dumb. The reason that we're going to go, uh, that we're leaving loud, is to, well, make it look like all of these folks were killed in a raid, because it would be really strange for a place to have basically half the guard garrison killed and the foods to be untouched. Yeah, then they would definitely suspect that something is going on. Yeah. 
That makes sense. Also, damn the developers of adding those them fly noises. Like the bees were not loud. It, it felt like oh, like the sound is always coming from the game. But a fly. The damn fly sound yeah, due to the heads and ears feels like they're flying next to the damn ear. Okay, this, this is a bit of an oversight. It looks like they put they put the bags right on the cover spots, so you can't easily access them. Okay, uh, Zora needs a knife still. A also, speaking of knives, just to make sure that nobody starts accidentally shooting up the place. I am Shonda. These are a shame. Something. I will. Calm down. There, replace your pistol with that. Okay. Hmm. Okay, just making sure everyone has the correct ammo types and such. Okay. Now, let's have a look at the situation here. You sneak over a bit further to see if there's anything going on here. You get to here for a bit. I need to hide. And, okay, that was a that was a bit risky, but luckily they're still done as all hell. Easy now. Okay, Zorin is still the best knife fighter. Since Paul is the only one who has any skill points in that. Hmm. Okay, you just don't seem to be moving at all. You are looking around, but not actively moving. You go back and forth. You're the only one who goes in, so you're going to be the first victim. And nobody seems to have line of sight inside. I'm suspecting sooner or later we'll run into snipers and such, who will have a lot oh. more focused line of sight. But oh. for the moment, we're safe from any sort of that kind of shenanigans. Oh, do the snipers? Oh. I feel like can Ooh. be a big Okay, issue. doors locked. So that's going to be a bit of a problem. What? The, d the door is locked, so we can't sneak no, no, in and no, no, grab no. this one. What the heck does dick chirping mean? Okay. It, Must it, 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 I saw what it looks like a... an insult. Or rather, a youthful insult. A town or something, or something. Quickly, or he comes back. Yep. Yeah. Wait, or is there someone else who got sight there or something? Also, if he saw you, we were about to walk away with a good body. Okay. Hmm. Uh, let's I want see. Let's grab the poison. Grab the pamphlet. Hmm. I'll tread softly. This is kind of scary. My fault. Mm. Okay. Well, we can easily fix from here. No stopping us. We'll just have to be more careful. My faithful slave. Hmm. Yeah, we'll probably have to go look around. Okay, more it meant for you to, to throw your knife, but oh well. Uh, yeah, we'll have to we'll have to go find the key to open up that door. <laughs> I'm a bit unclear as to we. we I, okay, when we get back there. Or was it you, maybe? No, you didn't have line of sight. From what I saw, that guy wasn't looking to the sides as he went, so... 
I don't think he really should have seen us as we came out of there, but oh well. Oh dear. I was going to suspect he's a keeper. Oh wait, you, you're less quiet when you carry a body, aren't you? Yeah, he, yeah he, he could have been looking over and uh, so yeah, he, he got stuck heard for you a bit. over and spotted you. If I saw him turn around and say something about partisans. Okay. And so, how about Steam probably a lot of later to tell me people oh, are playing yeah. Talworld? <laughs> yeah, that, that has been a lot more of a success than anyone really expected. Yeah. And, I, I bought it myself as well, and it is pretty fun. Yeah, I actually talked to you about you today with uh, little guests. <laughs> okay. They, they have a request. What? Uh, yes, we. I don't think we. Well, I'm guessing Power World for possible multiplayer. She, she recommended to stream it. That's it. <laughs> okay. I, I thought I could play, but I have learned something about Palward on a little shot that I thought, oh, wait, what, what is this? I don't know that, I don't know what this name is. How many more of you are there? Large pink lizard thing with a fluffy shit. Oh, yeah, that. Yes. <laughs> and apparently it mates with other pals and apparently got to... Thanks for holding. ...and started to try to mate oh, with humans? This yeah, made me go, the... uh, what? <laughs> Yeah, I, I forget the I forget their name as well, but they are in the pal backs. They're number sixty nine, of course. Yeah, uh, that one I feel like concerning, but also feel like that's a clear jab for every anyone who had done quote unquote Pokemon evolved fan art. Yeah. Okay. Anyone in here? We don't have any line of sight at all. Okay, uh, nobody here. So this is a safe hiding spot? Uh, like, is this the only show how to feel? Like? In a way, I feel like, all right, they they are not afraid to admit uh, many people that want us to do fan arts. Fine. Careful, but at the same time, I feel like, is it really wise to add one of those for a game? <laughs> yeah, they're, they're preempting the, uh, the fan arts. Yeah. This, I feel like, can oh, be a good oh, hello. No sort of bad thing, depending on how it's done. Okay, this guy has a key that we need. Hmm. We can how we are... can grab this guy while they're Here away. The I, I want to clarify something to me. Can you tame other humans as well? Now, you can catch NPCs. You can't catch other players. But... Uh, All right. I, captured the NPCs, NPCs can't they, they're basically useless uh, so there's no uh, there's no good reason to capture NPCs well I saw the I saw the video I did not watch I just watched a little bit the beginning it's apparently you can um breed the NPCs <laughs> okay yeah, that, that's I presume that's because uh, that both the the humanoid NPCs and the PAL NPCs are basically the same kind of entity in the game, uh, which is well a dumb thing. Also, hello there, pizza. But uh, yeah, that is pizza. why <laughs> that's why they are quote unquote breedable in that game, which I suspect they will change sooner or later. <laughs> pizza, why is breeding the first thing I hear when I come into stream? Uh, because well. Pal World is absolutely bonkers. He's going down. Yeah, I'll be able to talk about Pal World. Like, the, the whole rules for things that have written my eyebrow a lot. Let's go, what? So, yeah. Get down. I respect Pal World's uh, popularity. But I have done a little few things that just. Faithful Slade. Let's do it. It's. It, <sighs> the rules are a lot of what the fuck moments, so to say. Oh, hell, oh, a double barreled shotgun. The kid will uh -oh. like that. Uh, yeah. Anyways, how are you doing, Pizza? Uh, ta -ta -ta. They are what now? Breedable? Huh? Yeah. Uh, my presumption is that uh, 
the humanoid NPCs and the, the PAL NPCs are basically the same type of entity in its in the game. And well, <laughs> since you can breed PALs in it, that means you can also throw the humans into the same breeding pile. This is probably an oversight. Yeah. Unless it's aimed. I'm on it. She's one down. Okay. Yeah, I, I was to say what the heck, but yeah, the, again, I rarely swear, but then again, here's the thing. Thanks for holding this for me. I don't Come swear down. at someone. Okay, hide this one. If that makes sense, Paul. I have learned that uh, swearing is not too bad per se, unless you are proving the swear word at someone. Okay, now we have the key In for the side door. In an angry manner, so to speak. Let's see. We should keep an eye out for supplies, since we need That's more. Right. And food is all what uh, is good. Uh, surprise? You know what? No, I don't think surprise it would be good enough to go... Let me show the level how what the, uh, Here we go into the bushes. Yeah, they're, they're talking about their own reaction yeah. there. It's a, they're hearing a curse word from the queer, which is not from him reading a message, is weird as hell. Or surprising would be a better word for that line. Uh, oh, okay, okay, more. Uh, okay. Okay, now I understand what they mean. Now I understand what they mean. <laughs> but yeah, I prefer to use, use what the heck, but this was one of those moments I feel like, nope, I'm gonna need to use a WTF. There we go. We go Safe and secure kill. Oh Experience god, he's first. realized they actually made a pun. <laughs> no. Calm down. What were we talking about, Hill? Uh Pal World. Pal World <laughs> and uh Breathing? <laughs> what? A lot of food. Pal World breathing and what do I say? <laughs> Okay, I missed the exact wording because I'm kind of focused on not trying to get caught here, but... Calm down. I did end up seeing uh, by accident, what the fuck? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I just realized I have accidentally made a pun. Oh, okay. I hate myself. Time to trade some stuff. You get a better shotgun. And, well, basically everything we're carrying around. Uh, they will also let's sort that so it's not a bit better divided. Okay. Okay, that's not too much space. And let's have a bit of a look here. Information. Yeah. Uh, IZHB 36. Burnt, I'm, I'm guessing burnt out is the quality. Which... The burnt out meaning the lowest quality. The Soviet double-barreled shotgun, solid, comfortable, reliable, bu reliably built gun with a reliable curtain, good locks, a strong profile of barrels, and a beautiful shape of the lodge. S.A. Butalin. His weapon looks worn from battle. Okay. And we can even compare it to another. Uh, let's see. To compare... Okay, it's a bit pickle. Okay, uh, IZH5, 36. Okay, the single shot has more, a bit more max damage. Uh, slower fire rates and a lower effective distance, but it... Okay, but this one has a lower crit chance as well. Hmm. Okay, let's equip it just to save some space. And I like that they actually oh. put it on the back there. Wait. Hmm. Are they carrying two shotguns? Yep. A double Go barrel in. and a single barrel. <laughs> I don't think they can do that. Not without if they breaking can do their it arms. If they just two, they can do it here, I'm sure. <laughs> okay. What the heck? Uh, Excuse me. Also, though. Wait, actually, is Time Splits the only crazy enough game that allow you to do dual wheel double double bar shotguns there's probably others like uh wolfenstein probably 
Okay, Spi what? spice it up. Poison the provisions headed to the front lines. And hello, bear hello. trap. Let's see. Traps are used to inflict wounds or and stunning your enemy for a very long time. And what's this here? Ah. Iceland ration fields uh, rations. Okay. It's a bit of hint stuff. Okay. I almost want to recommend people to not watch this stream with headphones on for the damn fly. <laughs> I'd love to have a machine gun company here instead. Hmm? Now, give me a second. Ink is trying to get out of the room. I think the game did not use sort of shotguns. So I think we're... Well... Well, f rule shotguns. Yes, sawed-off shotguns are more of a more modern thing, like the 60s or such. Calm down. I might be wrong on that, but yeah. yeah. You, it probably oh, easier to oh. do with sawed-off shotguns compared to long shotguns. But yeah, in the game Time Splitters 2, you were using I'll tread softly. regular shotgun, double barrel shotguns that were not us. Okay, and I, I just realized what happened. It wasn't the one that was going back and forth that spotted us. It was this guy. Okay. Yeah, he was the one. Uh, oh. Let's see. Yeah, I saw someone what? spotted you, but oh, yeah, yeah, that was the guy that spotted you. But... What the heck does Keter mean? Not sure. We can't distract the other guy, but we can distract give my. Uh, we, yeah, we can distract that one. So, <laughs> and now he's just annoying the piss out of that one. Wait, I, I, I overlooked this one. That's a basic mistake. Oh, okay. So distract is temporary. You have a it's good to know. Otherwise, it could be really overpowered. Yeah, just be careful, for I would not be surprised if there's a limit. Yeah, okay, let's quickly grab him and into the bushes with him. Okay. Get the knife back. Okay. Hmm. I probably could start ignoring some of these guys because they don't actually give too much experience. Like, I think. Killing each of these is about 25 each, but still, that builds up over the amount that we do kill. Mm -hmm. You go over there so we can see a bit more, because there's one going back and forth. Uh, let's see, pizza. Actually, Drakir, do you count the sawed-off version as uh, versions of double bird shotgun? Because I've heard people not classically as such, uh, class not classify as such. I mean, R2, Red Dead Redemption 2 lets you dual wield double barrel shotguns. Yes. I, oh yeah, that that does mean that they did they were likely around before then, but probably not used as much because well the the, the people here use these shotguns for hunting mostly. Yeah. I'm on it. Okay. One. Unless I misunderstand them, question. No. Now, unless I misunderstand the first time, I would think a, a sort of shotgun would still count as a child or shotgun. Regardless if it's about a double so barrel or not. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty Keep sure you, they would typically only cut off half once. Okay. Yeah, that one was only 10 experience, so maybe it would be better to focus more. Has seen the movies that where they saw sort of it rather far back. So it would hmm. be rather light. I'm not sure how good it would be to saw it so close to the hand and god. Okay. For any other surrounds? Yeah, spread? No, that, that is that's the whole reason that they get sawn off is to make instead. them basically a, a lot more of a scatter gun than a, a lot more aims. If I correct on that, which I may not be. If that's the case, it would mean those that saw so, so far back. Hmm? 
may have a very dangerous weapon, which probably what explains why technically, in many cases, it's illegal to saw them off, if I remember right. Yeah, I, I do believe it is illegal to saw those things. Okay, this guy is not going to be out of his sight, but he is out of their sight for a good amount of time. Weirdly uh -huh. enough. Then again, so like, we just need to sneak over. Realistically, they would have a longer range of sight. Problem is, it would be hard to, to work to design a game level if they kept the sight realistic. He has a very li wide line of sight. He is very attentive. And again, he's, he's also the highest rank here from the looks of it. He's probably their sergeant or something. Okay, is this the moment to sneak by? Let's see. Kid, into the bushes with you. And here we go into the bushes again. Yeah, shut up, you. How long do we have to hide here? Yeah, why does he keep complaining? <laughs> okay. F5. Calm down. Now. With this one, when he has his back turned, we can know for 100% certain that he doesn't have line of sight on his superior. This one is more of a question of when to strike and when not. Mm -hmm. Something about his wife. Okay, just gotta wait for this one to head over there. This one to head back. Something in Frank uh, in France. It's like playing hide and seek. Don't let me down. Quickly now. I assume that for some people watching me play the game like a, like it's a stealth game would probably be a bit more boring than trying to get into firefights every time. But it is my preferred playstyle of this. Oh, you have a good amount of loot on you. I think it's probably recommended that you do do it stiffly or uh, combos down. doing stiffly no us. along with ambushes of other yeah. kinds. Like just running in guns placing is not always the best idea. Definitely. Okay. Especially when you're outnumbered, that you need to be very tactical. <laughs> yeah, yeah, these games are called real-time tactics games, so it's kind of in the name. Okay. Yep. And we can just wait for him to return. Drink. So, uh, pizza, make sure he doesn't die, all right? Get down. Okay. He has uh, he has guts for admitting, you know, for saying that, and right next to one of them. I'm on it. That one's done for. Okay, give me my Thanks knife. Me. Huh? Okay, some more herbs. And into the bushes you go. Is it pizza? Huh? What? I'm not capable of such responsibilities. I'm listening. <laughs> okay, you can come out of hiding. No. Let's have a bit of a That's look. Me. Now we can move around more. You go it. right back into your disguise. And take a look uh -huh. that way. You... Check over here. Uh, let's see that. We hmm. Not sure if there might be anyone in there or not. This looks like the edge. Yep, that's the edge of the map. Okay, so only here and here remains. Okay. We covered a good chunk of the map. Still a good chunk more to go. Hmm. Okay. Uh, you have a task for me. There's nobody in sight, but still, let's hide you out of sight just in case some random patrol comes by. Stop your disguise. Uh, Anyone in here? I'm no. Back. I'm harder. Welcome back. Let's see. Okay. Uh, from uh, Got a Pizza, so it's gonna deal with the healing I missed. Yeah, I read it already. I mean, my always myself prefer stealth over guns placing given oh, the choice. That. 
Okay, that I did miss. Yeah. I'm a bit of both. Like, mm. I try to adapt to the situation, the, or depending on the game and all that, especially if the game allows me to do that. Sometimes I, need, I can see, all right, this is a case rush in and all that, but sometimes I will wait, snipe down some foes if possible before rushing in when the odds are more in my favor. Yeah. Let's Sometimes see, there's I think it, a quite few a few times here. Hmm. Okay, I think we'll have to get into a firefight or two here. I very much doubt that we can get this guy. Actually, yeah, we might be able to get catch that guy when they're alone. This depends on anyone who may be over that way. These two are fully distracted by this guy. Hmm. Let's see, could we snag him while he's over there or would killing him be too loud? It probably would be too loud. Uh, has spoken at some... Okay, some of these text bits disappear really quickly. I saw something about Craig and November. Okay, sneak over here. Okay. Okay, there's a patrol going here. Okay. But if we kill this guy, we can just immediately hide him there. There's something about the nature here in Russia. Okay, head on over there. Affirmative. Okay. Doesn't seem to be anyone over here. Famous last words. Awaiting orders. And not that. That. I can do it. Some bottles for distractions. Does any of these get line of sight on this guy at any point? Also, that's an MG42 he's carrying, I think. Okay, they, they get a look at that when they turn around. But beyond that, not really. Hmm. So this this part really is abandoned, it seems. Uh, you you sure you want to be that close to uh, a barrel of fuel? Hmm. Oh dear. It's no one have a machine gun company here instead. Let's see. I want a line of sight on that patrol. I hope I won't get caught. I'm going to presume that this area is a no-go zone, even under the skies. Hmm. Let's put you in cover there for a sec. Notice me. Ooh. What am I going to do? I'll tread softly. Okay, yeah. I hope I won't get caught. Yeah, let's stay out of the hiding spots then. Hmm. Or out of the cover spots. It's like playing hide and seek. Something about this the streets being unpassable or something from that guy. Okay. Mm. That was something about we'll win this fight. Let me see about that. Okay. Now, are the patrols of these and that one synchronized or desynchronized? Looks desynchronized. Okay, that means that we can just nab them. 
and be she gone before they come back. Away. Okay. Quickly. Was a... He just pisses off. <laughs> Calm down. Okay, some more materials. One knife back. Hmm. Okay. These two and these... They're getting pretty desynchronized with each other. Those will have to kill by gunfights. Uh, oh, or we just use that on them. But before we go over there, let's not get too far behind their lines. And see if we can thin the, uh, thin the ranks here. Let's see. Can you open that without. It's like playing hide and seek. Okay, back into the bushes with you. Okay. It looks like only these three here. Yeah. Who got spotted there? I'll tread softly. Okay. I'm guessing Zori may have been just outside of the bushes there for a second. Hmm. You you have really far eyeline of sights. I think I yeah. It has more to do with rank and such. To well for balancing as well. Like. This guy has very That's long line of sight. Yeah, and I guess this the eyes are also a recommend say you how long they may have to see to identify you as a friend. Yeah. yeah. Or rather to identify that you're not a civilian. For do I guess that sure they will see you over there. Hmm. But I don't know, know who you are until you get closer to. In some situation, yeah. they would probably not care if they cannot see your face. If they see you in an area that you're not supposed to be, yeah, they should go for you regardless. Okay, this one just does not move at all. So he would be an easy pick. Once the others stop moving or are turned away. Easy now. Let's move from cover to cover. We would just need to wait for the right moment to strike. And again, this one might also be a good target once they're over there. Like, does, I don't think this one has the, the range to see over here. And yeah, we could just immediately hide their corpse in one of the, in one of the outhouses. Hmm. Okay, maybe he does have the range. But it does take them quite a bit to go through their whole... Uh, their whole rounds. Yeah, they, once they'd had that way, they would definitely see them if the body was still left there. Yep. Okay. I think... I think we can just nap this one, hide them, grab it, this one, hide them. Okay. What? They've seen us. I'm on it. Yep. Got one. Okay, didn't it? Oh. Well, that's... A bit slow response. Enemies are searching. Okay. It is only localized, it seems. Hmm. Uh, what's the timer about? How long they're looking for? 
It, it's better than that alarm in uh, Commandos 2 that just constantly blares as they are on a high alert. Okay. And... Yeah, they just don't give a crap anymore. <laughs> they must have assumed a hit-and-run tactic or guerrilla style. Hmm. It does change up the music. Hmm. hmm. This would actually work in our favor if we just snipe one of them. Uh, and that's just stay hidden. Then, as long as we could get the knife back, we could just go <laughs> get it and grab another one I'll because they just don't care about it anymore. It's gonna raise the alarm. Oh, I forgot about this one here. Oh, he, oh, he, okay, he almost alerted there because I, I didn't fully move into the bush. Bit surprised he didn't get annoyed by, about that, but then again, he wasn't the one who found the body. Yeah, th this is how you can screw yourself over in uh, RTT games. By just overlooking one of the cogs in the game, or in your current plan. Calm down. Tread lightly. It's mine. Okay. If we move the body, it would probably be more suspicious than just leaving it. Yeah. Oh, I doubt I the AI there. would keep track of that, but still. Oh dear. Right. Uh, let's see. Uh, thank you to keep for keeping the captain alive, pizza. You did good job. Okay. Hmm. You're all alive, correct, Captain? I just had a thought. If if we train up someone else in knife fighting better, then we could go for a bit of synchronized strikes with uh, trying to take down two targets at once. But that would have its own risks, of course. Yeah. And who knows, we might get uh, more characters that are good at it. Yep. Okay. Just grab you. Okay, time to share our inventory a bit more. <laughs> and pizza getting My caught out. Uh -huh. Okay, <laughs> inventory. Go ahead this. and read it. Head over. That's you. Some other stuff as well. You can use these. Okay. Actually, we should probably give everyone at least some rocks. Because then they can all cause a distraction for the others if need be. Mm. Now, let's see. I, uh, yeah, I was looking over Helian. Totally was not focused on beating a boss. <laughs> right here. Okay. Grab some extra bullets off of his carcass. Hmm. It does... I'm guessing this means that he is more on alert than before. Though not enough to, well, notice that his comrades are missing. Hmm. Okay. Let's grab this guy. He's going down. One down. Okay. Mine. Grab that, please. Okay. That's still none of the actual up that's stealing, so let's not. We have maximum morale, but still better to well, avoid lowering it. Uh, also, let's see to the tug. Hit chance is greatly increased. Characters can sprint longer. Cooldown abilities are reduced by two times. Okay, yeah, so <laughs> we can throw the knife twice as fast if we want to, or we're able to. Let's do it. Hmm. Could we... Get down. Let's see. Could we actually lure you away? Hmm. 
Let's do a quick save. It's like playing hide and seek. Oh, that does indeed get his attention. What is that? Schnapps? I'm on it. Did, did I say that correctly? About, yeah. Calm down. Oh, we, we also hey, picked up any escape. bullets out of a pin. That, that, that is nice that the stuff close by does get looted at the same time. Hold on. Is Schnapps just a word for any alcohol? I think it's a, a type of beer. Or somewhat alcoholic th I'm something. On One down. I wonder what's a special shot. It's mine. Nah, it's shots were more of a later thing, I think. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, for, there was what I was getting confused for was pondering. Was really snaps really a thing back then? Okay, that's another area oh, cleared then, out. Shot pass, at least. I'll try softly. Okay. I, I do like that the others will comment every now and then about things. Okay. Yeah, we're going to grab those with the logs. Hmm. Quiet. Awaiting okay. orders. Oh. Did I have to do something again? Let's see. <clears throat> Can we still actually get all of them in one go with this? Oh yeah, they are catching up. There we go. <laughs> Agent 47 kills three enemies using environmental objects. Okay, that was a nice one. Easy now. Give me all your ammo. Uh, uh, let's see. Uh, oh, and an update if you... Oh, what the... I'll tread softly. Yep. I would say I think the guy on the road spotted you. Yeah, okay, that's nice. Oh, uh, actually, no, I think he spotted the corpses. Okay. Hmm. That's a bit more to this. What next? But how the heck did they find the kid in there? Yeah, good enough moment for him to run for cover then, I guess. Hmm. Calm down. <laughs> yep. Yeah, hello, yeah, trucker. Just in time to see three Nazis get rolled over. <laughs> okay, this is going to piss them off for a bit. Or actually not. Are they? Are they are just outside of his range. <laughs> Okay, that works for us. Uh, let's see. Oh, and an update if you guys are actually interested in it. But after taking a medicine, my left eye has, has uh, started to blur less and less when I open both my eyes without putting on my goggles. Okay, you hadn't told us about goggles <laughs> needing to be worn, I think. Uh, let's see. Trucker, careful with the peppermint snaps. It's strong. Uh, well, hello there, truck man. How is it going? <laughs> How is one doing today? Sleeping. <laughs> I, okay, I know that some people sleep talk, but I didn't know people sleep tight. Oh dear. Okay, huh? let's get some loot out of these. Okay. Now just to be certain, I'm going to hide them over here. <laughs> well, you can type while sleeping, so very cool, yes. Okay, that's our next target. Let's see. Uh, I can do it. This guy's head over this way because there's this guy just keeping watch down the street. You take the long way. Give me some sight on the other end. Uh -huh. Actually, it probably would have been better to bring him over here and get him to look that way, but oh well. Yes, yes, shut up. Yeah, how are you doing, trucker? Other than sleeping? Did I ask that already? I keep forgetting if I do or don't. See, from pizza. Whoa, you can type while sleeping? So very cool, yes. Okay, that guy's just simply not moving. 
donkey. I'm a big, ro a big trucker. You can you learn to do all kinds of things asleep as a trucker. I'm pretty sure you're not allowed to sleep behind the wheel while driving. Let's see. Wait, that's how you lose your license. Some... Yeah. Hmm? Okay, we can sneak around here. I'm pretty sure getting too close to the cars is going to become a no-go zone. Uh -huh. uh, yeah, I think this one should be our next target. So let's keep looking around a bit more. Get down. You, you have a task for me. Stop your disguise. You're in a safe spot, anyways. Calm down. Okay. F five. Okay, that's the edge. Ooh, quickly now. Hmm. Actually, you might make a good little target. Then we can just go through the back line. They found me. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay. I, I do like that they don't make it too obvious who has spotted you. Like, n it, it does have that exclamation mark filling up over their head, but it doesn't do like a massive red arrow to show you who has spotted you. So you do need to keep a good eye out for, well, who has line of sight and such. This wasn't the plan. Uh, that's that guy again. Let's see. Uh... Didn't we have to wait? Let's see. Can we stack those higher? No, we cannot. Okay. <laughs> the age old trick of putting on a bottle and getting the <laughs> idiots when they come and get it. Uh, there. Apparently, I couldn't put it too close. And then we just hide behind the fence and Let's wait start. for them to come out. Let's see. Da, da, da. I mean, trucker could do, <laughs> could be at a truck stop. Good point as well. Now that's yeah, that's out of his line of sights. Okay. Yeah, well, well, you are going a very different route than I expected. I'm on it. Still gotcha. Some leaves. My faithful slave. Okay. I don't... I'm not too sure if I want to use the bottles too much. But... It would still be smart to make use of them when possible. The enemy's uh, careful here. Okay. Yeah, I, I guess these trees are a bit too close for him to move past, even though technically they should be able to move through it. Let's see... He's being moody. I'm not sure what that... Oh, I'm tired, I think it means. Uh, let's see. It's a... Uh, what a fucking long elevator. Oh, my... <laughs> okay. Uh, putting a bottle... Actually, that would be a better hiding spot. Putting a bottle there. And then just wait for him to... Uh, come close. There. He's, he's acting like he's putting down a landmine. I, I want to say it looked like he was kissing the ground. <laughs> yeah, truck, trucker, trucks don't stop. That's a myth. Huh? Oh, good God. <laughs> don't mind that message. I think my TTS has activated. So I uh, just, I just, <laughs> just as I felt to my death in that game. The text to speech, huh? Okay. Now, text to speech can be fun, but it can often get things wrong as well. Yep. Uh, hmm. I do Quiet. think we need to go loud to kill those over there. I'm on it. One down. There we go. Calm down. Just loot him from a distance. Okay. 
Yeah, th this game has some really nice quality of life features like that. So you don't have to you know, go looking through every single corpse. Okay, next targets. How many are there? Uh, we killed one Drink of the guards. Lightly. So we're at least seven left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, those two, yeah, we're, we're going to blow them the hell up. Um, this one's moving. One of these is moving. Wait, Let's they see. also need a tank. Or, uh, yeah, we can, we can push this to uh, kill at least one of them. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Number seven is out of sight. Hmm. Is there an opening here? Yes, we can bring you out. Okay. There's a better angle here. Thank you. Okay. Now, I don't know if the car can explode. So, we are not putting you in that bush over there. You're going behind the tree there. Oh, there's one heading this way. And apparently that's just a little bit too close to the, the border of the map. Okay, now we have good line of sight on everything. Yeah, let's see, pizza. Yeah, I guess I still have it. Yeah, my site was at the point where I couldn't even read chat and stuff, so I needed TTS. And plus, if I if I can just talk rather than having to type and just make and make a million spelling errors, yeah. Okay. No, oh, he was was he speaking English there, or at least understandable language, which might as well be Russian or something. Oh, so does he have a camo helmet? I, I think he has leaves on his helmet for some reason. And, okay, doesn't look like we can get both of those with that. Calm down. Okay. Hmm. Do we grab this one first, then this one? Or do we go this way with our three targets? Uh, yeah, Actually, do you remember we need to kill them loudly? Now we don't have to. Actually, I think this one might be our first target since he comes all the way over here. You can just put down a model here and throw a knife in his back as he passes. Yeah, but that's it. And we again, does this one get uh, Reduce the numbers before we go gun blazing. Yeah, okay. He does not get a line of sight because of the plant life. Okay. Yeah, put it down. Uh-huh. He's just really, he's really reluctant to part what? with his alcohol, huh? Oh dear. Hmm. Mm hmm. Okay, yeah. The, the amount of chevrons really does denote rank, I'm pretty sure. Okay, now we need to catch you out of their line of sight. Calm down. Uh, wait, what? Did I forget to pick up a knife? No stopping us. Easy now. Pick that up. Uh, pick up the bottle. Or pick up them at least. Then. Uh, okay, I guess I must have forgotten to pick up the knife then. Hmm. You have the knife. Get down. Okay. Can't be used anymore. Uh, did something glitch then, or...? Oh, wait, wait. Hmm. Go into the inventory. Yeah, we have our knife back. We have some spare... Let's let's ex let's try swapping knives out. Yeah, what's it? Hmm. Oh, yep. I didn't collect it from this guy. Okay, that was my bad. It's mine. Uh, let's see, Trucker. It's called breaking breaking up edges. It's part of bare bones basic camouflage training. Yeah, but I, I don't think just putting a bunch of sticks on your helmet is going to help you when you're still in full uniform. <laughs> well, sort of. Since if it like if you're hiding in bushes, 
The only thing that most likely to be first thing to spot is probably helmet. Hence, you why you can for the helmet. A uh, bit of a point on that, but still, he he has only like a few sticks from the looks of it, and maybe a net to keep them down, but still not very much. Okay, just need a good moment. I do like that you can actually see them physically turn as they look around, so you can keep somewhat track of where they're looking without needing to, well, without uh, needing to keep their line of sight uh, active at all times. Hmm. Actually, what I could do here, maybe this guy patrolling might throw a wrench in that, is to just sneak behind him and then just stab him. Or, no, this one is the one patrolling back and forth. He just goes left and right. Okay. Left, right, left, left, right, left. Also, I see you posted something, Pizza, but give me a second on that. He's going down. There we go. Pick up the knife. My faithful slade. Yes. Just some, <laughs> just a few bullets off of his carcass. Okay, uh, let's see. Oh, and I am pretty sure I, I didn't get the right uh, the surgery for my right eye. I might actually go blind in my right eye, since, you know, those eye charts are the doctors they use to see how many lines you can read, and they get smaller every line. Yeah, I could only read the first two lines with my right eye, but with my left I could read all uh, read all the six lines. Okay, yeah, that's <laughs> that sounds bad. The enemy's near. Like, did, did they just not operate on the... Actually, it might be a case that they can't operate on both eyes, since well, if things go if things go bad with one and with the surgery, uh, yeah, you would have both eyes be affected at one time. So maybe it's more of a case that one gets treated first than the other. It can't operate on both eyes. Okay, so the other eye is going to get operated on uh, coming soon. TM. So eventually. Oh, I forgot the loot there. Oh, this might belong to someone, but just in case what we do don't I want do? to... Oh, hello! Good old stick grenade. Actually, we could probably use that to deal with some of them here. <laughs> That's me. That's stealing. <laughs> Coming soon. You make it sound like a movie trailer. Some more rocks. Always useful to have rocks. Mm -hmm. Calm down. This wasn't the plan. Okay, bit too early there. Actually, I can just get over the fence here. And there was something about the Fuhrer having spoken that the the war should be over by November. Okay. More stuff that's owned by the locals. Uh, Easy now. Yeah. Surgery kit would be useful, but yeah, we're not going to steal. Oh, hello, what's this? Okay, it's another newspaper. Okay, A actually. Something I think we could do here is first we go into cover. Oh, you try to lure them both over? Mm, not that, but I, I hit I activate this thing whilst hiding behind it if it blocks line of sight. Get him killed and then knife the other one. Ah, alright. Uh, let's see. Pizza, but no, most likely the right eye will be done somewhere around the 15th next month. Okay. Hope for the best for you there, uh, Pizza Boy. Yeah. Pizza Boy. <laughs> pizza, I mean. Are you starting to mix together different friends now? Or different friends and acquaintances? Okay, what it does block on the site. Uh, old name? Or am I having a dirt moment? Easy now. <laughs> oh right, I used to accidentally call him Pizza Boy <laughs> a while back. 
Okay, this is a bit of a risky one, but uh, yeah, I could just stab this guy, throw his ass in there. But I, I wanna, I wanna be a bit risky for this, so I'm, I'm going to risk it for the Soviet biscuit. Not for the risky boots. Okay, it does block line of sight. It and line of action, or line of ugh, line of throwing. All oh, right, the name was Pizza Lover. Yeah, I don't know what. Yeah, I accidentally called him Pizza Boy I made the times in a while back, but Penny's back. Find cover two on that. One down. There we go. Two for one. Or well, two for two more, but still. There we go. Okay, only three remaining. This guy, well, he's, he's far and away. He's an easy target. And then we just shoot the barrel there. And we're done. <laughs> Breakfast pizza sounds tempting right now. Please do not eat me. <laughs> the pizza says. <laughs> yeah, d d don't eat the, the god of pizza. It usually ends up badly. Don't let me down. No stopping us. <laughs> Thanks for holding this for me. Okay. Now... Actually, before we do anything, just in case this might get damaged or destroyed... Calm down. Some extra bullets. Alright, rustling because we're in cover. Okay. Hmm. Wait, we can't, act we can't actually target the explosives of... That? Okay. Maybe not from that angle. Um, hmm. Yeah, maybe because they're in the way of it. Yeah, like, sure, he looks like he could be able to shoot between them, but that would be a risky shot. Okay, it <laughs> Okay, it doesn't give a percentage because it's a sure shot. Calm down. <laughs> give me that. Okay. Quiet. Everyone, get your ass over here, and we're done. Hmm? For a moment, I thought he still was going to be in disguise, but no, I deactivated that a while back. Okay, how's that for results? Let's see. Okay, got a bunch of resources. Good amount of food for at least one day. I think we might Let's be able to for the, the workshop. Yep. Okay, and apparently they can call in reinforcements by radio. Okay, that's another good reason to stay stealthy. Hello so, there. have you seen the people living under the fascists? We have. We can't stand up for ourselves. The only folks left are old men, women, and fatherless kids. Some have tried, but they need a good commander. Someone experienced, like yourself. No need to convince me. My mind's made up. We're staying. Yay! There's only two of us, Captain. What can we do? They drove a whole army backward. We're just like two sticks in a forest. Like I said to Sanek once, fortresses rise from a single rock. Seems you weren't listening. <laughs> we can kill officers, burn down stores, recruit. We can get people to fight. We're low in numbers. The enemy is on the alert. We'll have to lay low for a couple of days. We'll start recruiting as soon as the manhunt is called off. For now, rest up. The captain had Ooh. to make a choice. Attempt to cross the front line to rejoin his comrades, or remain behind the German lines and organize a partisan group. The dire situation in the occupied areas led Zorin to stay. The freshly created partisan division had to set up a proper base and find more volunteers to join a losing battle against the invaders. Creating an effective fighting unit was the first order of business. Since we already have some volunteers then, perhaps? Okay, it is a bit rough on the transitions, but that might be in part because the game is being forced into windowed mode and such. Uh, let's see, da -da -da, pizza. I could have gone there, but I'm not gonna with that, that trucker's message. Uh, oh wow, that is such good music for that success stream. 
Yeah, the, the music is simple, but nice. Let's see. Reports, no reports, tasks. Oh, oh I misread the pizza uh, uh, there a moment ago. I thought that Miss H, Miss Payne was supposed to be Messiah for some reason. <laughs> so I'm wondering what the heck are you talking about? Truck is Messiah. Let's see. It's a cart heading down the forest road. It carries food gathered by the villagers for the command. Uh, com uh, yeah, commandants. It's not well guarded, so should we try to capture it? And then there's quick reaction. The fascists again. This we've seen this before. Uh, no, are conducting an intimidation operation in the nearby village. We can head there and stop them. We would get some grenades from this. Hmm. Is there any way to see when we might hit another mission? Or is that every few days? Because uh, I do workshop. want to get some more grenades. Workshop. Though this costs we material and... Yeah, we can I think it would be better... It. Okay, both of those would cause materials. Oh. Hmm. Oh, we need everyone working on this. Okay. So yeah, we'll have to leave them be for a bit, but we'll have ourselves a workshop. Yeah, well, we're going to need it for to be able to do other things as well. Yeah. Okay. News from the front lines. The fascists have surrounded Sevastopol and the main base of the Black Sea fleet. The city is mounting a valiant defense. Okay, the workshop. You can make basic explosives and field meds here. Let's see, what do we have now? Okay, the, each of these are going to unlock as we build more stuff, it seems. Let's see, ambush. Several kilometers away from here, a small truck convoy escorted by a motorcade is moving down the road. We should carefully plan an ambush. We don't have the materials for that. A, a common Mosin rifle, that would be nice. The Mosin rifle is pretty good, I believe, just in general. And it says common in blue. All right, so it might be, what you said, uh, the quality. Yeah, with uh, burnt out being basically trash quality. Hmm. Living under occupation. Don Confedor had a, has a potato patch by the hill. He once hid from the Soviet rule. Now he's waiting the fascists out. Let's ask him to share some food. It has a 100% rate, win rate right there. And we could go for this one. There's an enemy garrison stationed in the neighboring village. It's small in numbers. We could catch them off guards. Okay, YouTube makes 90%. Uh, hold on. All of them have leveled up. Yep. We'll take care of that next time. For now, let's see. I wonder if this experience is just for the people who are participating for these specific ops, or everyone. Either way, it's an easy thing to go for. Oop. Yeah, what's he leave? I wish I had good news, but I don't. They took some partisans in Zaborovka yesterday. Some officer arrived to interrogate them. They'll be hanged in the square tomorrow morning. Not gonna happen. Not on our watch. You can't go to the village. I have no idea what the village head told the officer, but he brought an army with him. Sit out the manhunt. You don't want to put your head in the noose. Don't say things like that, Vasily Grivilovich. Sounds like we should wait until morning. Okay, it, it sounds a bit like we'll have mission days about every third day or so. And let's see, pizza, oh my god, I just jumped like a cat because an enemy accidentally fell on me. <laughs> okay. Oh dear. <clears throat> okay, the story. The are executing partisans in Zaborovka today. We're moving in to prevent the execution. Zanek, do you know anyone in the village? Of course. My grandmother used to live there. Why? Do you want me to go with you? They'll raise the alarm if they see me and Nikolai. You, on the other hand, are a local. You can sneak past where there's no way through. What do you say? Are you coming with us? You're not too scared. If you need me, 
I'm in. Let's be honest, he would have run after them even if he, if, they, if he said no to him, he would have run after them all the same. Likely true. Let's see. This operation was successful, we took the enemy by surprise. Uh, nothing uh, he could do but share some food, okay. So yeah, we're, pre we're sitting pretty good for food at the moment. Uh, let's see, let's give some levels. You have two skill points now. Let's see, do we go for giving you some melee as well, or do we wait for other possible characters to show up? Might, might be too good to give some melee, since if it's going to be an assassin type, maybe to be able to use the knife for throwing and melee is probably a good idea. Hmm. Since we, I doubt we can rely on being able to throw the knives always. Yeah. So let's give you a point there, and we'll save your other point still. Uh, for you, you're, you're, we're going to we're supposed to keep you out of combat most of the time, so I'm not too sure about this one. Same bit for that. So let's go for first aid here. Do baby to run? It can be a good way to save his life. Yeah, but it's mostly during combat. Um, let's see. Yeah. The yeah, moment where you want stamina to cost over while you quickly. in combat. Let's actually give you strength, since you are our main assassin. It will allow you to carry bodies faster, give less chance of being spotted. And yeah, then we have knife throwing free, inspiration. Okay. I'm presuming generally on the higher difficulties you would get in, gain experience a lot slower. So we are we are getting it a bit easy by just getting a lot of good perks right uh, right off. Or maybe it gets expanded at some point. Maybe? Anyways. Wait, for, look at the food here, I feel like... The only one good with food, yes. However, we should never be lazy about food. Yeah, I think we should try to keep it around 100 at most times. Maybe push it up to 200 if possible. Just to be absolutely yeah. certain. So the fascists are going to execute partisans. We should go there and prevent the execution. However, this could be difficult. According to Fasili, there was a manhunt in the village the day before. The Germans are still there. Okay. And here we go. Uh, Dulag, short for German Durchgangslager, is a temporary camp that held prisoners of war until they were transferred to permanent camps deeper in Germany and German up in Ger <laughs> spell missing. There's a letter with missing here in German. Oh no, in German and German occupied territories. Okay, there doesn't need to be specifically mentioned of Germany here because you know, German territories. Okay. Uh, let's look at everyone's equipment. Uh, Alright, we got another shotgun here. I would like it if it would show stuff like this just by base when we'd hover over something. But, oh uh, well. Sort our storage. Sort your storage. Uh, let's see. Stick grenades. You do not have any real skills for melee kills, so giving you a knife is probably a bad idea. Yeah. Um, let's see. Hmm. I think I will I... keep both of these at the moment. They will probably mostly go for the 5 instead of the 36. Yeah, uh, alright, we should probably keep an eye out on the clock. Uh, yeah, 20 minutes. We'll probably have to stop mid-mission then. Mm. Very likely. Okay, bear trap, rocks. Let's, let's actually put some of the bigger equipment in actual equipment slots, so they take up no space in the <clears throat> inventory. Uh, I, yeah, I don't think we need that many bullets for the rifle. Honestly, I'm let, I am going to keep like two clips ready for most characters at all times, just in case it does come down to like forced combat or something. But beyond that, I'm going to be playing it safe. Yeah, 
that we will be avoiding combat more than anything. Uh, no need for you to have a second knife. You can use a knife. You'll rather actually need one if we want you to go in for some kills as well. Or some silent kills at least. Um, and you, some extra painkillers. Grenade. And... Let's see. I think that's about all we really need to. Like, the, the kid is armed to the freaking teeth with two shotguns, but he's, um, he's actually not supposed to be much of a fighter. Actually, let's, let's put the double barrel away for the moment, just in case he finds a weapon, so he has the space to carry that around. I just realized something. Hmm? Why are we giving a kid shotguns? Well, it was where he started, which is where he has skills for. For, and well, it's easier. <laughs> it's easier for him to be able to defend himself with that than with a machine gun or such. Like <laughs> the kickback is still likely to put him on his ass as well, but it's better yeah, than that's... giving him a pistol that he can't aim. Yeah, that's what my concern is that it will uh, recoil. Sorry. I guess Fusion it's easier to half an hour away. The village is big, so let's stick to the main road to avoid getting lost. The Germans are still here, on guard. Perhaps they expect someone to try and save the prisoners. To reveal ourselves means certain death for them. No one must see us before we reach the square. Do you hear me, Fatisov? No shooting until we arrive. I hear you, Comrade Captain. I'll keep a rein on myself. What about the door? It's locked. There's no way in, and the village is swarming with Polizei. This is old Maria's house. She could let us in. I'll see if she can give me a spare key. Don't act suspicious. You need to maintain your cover for now. And, oh, we, okay, we do have a time limit, it seems. Okay, that is going to complicate things somewhat. I can okay. Oh! Should we hit yeah, if you feel the time limit, we would we'll go over time. Hmm. But, yeah, what I was saying. A shotgun probably be easier to reload for someone his age, but yeah, the recoil is the biggest concern. Maybe they'll be able to handle a Maria Filipovna. Regular. Can I have a key to the back entrance, please? It's important. Goodness gracious, Sanek! Of course you can. It's in the chest in the house. Yeah, okay. Oh dear. But yeah. Some oh, shots also can imagine, like me. for hunting, might have less of a recoil. But if you want to use more militarized ammunition for them. Calm down. Oh mm -hmm. boy, the recoil. You have a task quiet. I'm on it. Got one. Okay, that was just in time. Easy okay, that was the game being really freaking generous. I, I hadn't expected him to just walk in uh, into the house here. Okay. What do I do? Senate, you are still disguised. Yep. Okay. Yeah, we'll have to keep moving. Feels like I'm back with my recon platoon. He's going down. You can pick off a few here and there. My recon. I want to be useful. This will go. Okay. Pick him up, please. Calm down. Uh, loot. Pick up. Dump his ass. That's me. Okay. Two over here and a friendly dog. Okay, or rather more. It's like playing hide and seek. I hope I won't get caught. Why did he get oh I, I must have accidentally put him into cover. Okay. Uh, dump him there. Okay. Some rocks here, in case, uh, so we can provide a distraction if need be. There's just, there's a lot of freaking enemies here. This place really is crawling with them. Okay. Uh, there was one that was going back and forth, wasn't there? Uh, there they are. It's like playing hide and seek. Okay. Hmm. Okay, just wait for that one to head back. 
Then we knife this one. I'm on it. Got one. Nick, get the knife. My faithful slade. There. Just shove his ass in there. I can do it. Okay. Sneaking around. Let's shut me. up. We will have to sneak around if we want to survive this. Let's see. No way up the hill from the looks of it. Let's see. Two here. Another two in there, but they're blocked in. Okay, we can grab that one. What do I do? I'll tread softly. <clears throat> what? Okay. You stay here down. to provide line of sight. Calm down. Okay. Yeah, the fact that we have a time limit is going to, well, hasten things along a bit. And actually, I'm on it. just nab this guy. It kind of makes sense for... Yeah, they are... Uh, they are preparing for execution. Yeah. It's and well, every... Stories about rescuing uh, people to be executed have been around since uh, I'm a freaking Robin Hood and such. Probably hunger. Okay, this guy goes in and out, so he might be a problem. But this one is not. Okay. Maybe we can stealthily... This will come in handy. Maybe we can stealthily rescue the partisans. What? Yes. No. That way we might be able to go back and pick up some Commander? of the loot around here. But uh -huh. for the most part, we are doing well on resources. I'm okay. Looking. Feels like I'm back with my recon platoon. There's some guys out there. Easy Oh. I hope they won't notice For a moment, us. I thought one of those two was coming out, but no. Okay. Chew on that, swine. Okay. What? Oh, hello. That's a new weapon type. My faithful slade. Yes, yes. It's rabbits. Actually, now that I think about it, the knife he's throwing is probably not actually the same type that uh, we can otherwise equip. So that's why Don't we can't uh, screw around with it too much. Okay. Hide in there. You get over. You can't jump over that. There's a gap. Okay. I want to be useful. Okay. Drop him. But yeah, that, that will explain why we can throw the knife. The, the symbol is also different from the ones that we can equip anyways. Uh, let's see. You have a task for me. How long do we have to hide here? Long enough to get over there, so shut up. There was one standing over here, I think. Okay, yeah, that one. He is far away. Oop, oop, careful. I didn't put a step wrong. Ooh. Okay. I'll tread softly. Calm down. Now then. Hmm? That is going to be a problem. Because they are just looking all over it. Oh. I'll tread softly. Hmm. Still, we'll have to go around that, I think. And okay. Oh yeah, we're gonna need to save soon. You stay in. Okay. There's only one guard over that way, from the looks of it. So that is useful for us. Hmm. Awaiting orders. Get down. 
I want to be useful. It's like playing hide and seek. Okay. Almost there. I'm guessing once we get there, things are going to go loud. It's all the same. Okay, there's a few more guards here. But we should be able to sneak by. Shut up, you. And calm down. Get moving. I'm on it. No stopping us. Pick him up, pick him up. I'll tread softly. Okay. I got half the feeling that he was already this hidden where he landed, but oh well. Uh, don't think we can nab that one without those two noticing. Uh, speaking of, yeah, we'll have to cross. Okay. You have a task for me. You can just keep on going. Get across. Like playing hide and seek. It's going to raise the alarm. Okay. What do I do? Get, get, get back in there, you idiot. Wait, is that impassable for some reason? Find cover now. Okay, for some reason the tree line is too thick here, or the hill. No, the, the, the tree line is too I'll thick for it to pass down. by. Or to pass through. Bit of a nuisance, but a well. Mm -hmm. Okay. Just gotta wait for him to pass, or look away. Hmm. That's me. Senek, go look ahead. We have work to do. Ah, how the hell? Just shut up and keep moving. Uh huh. Okay. What do I do? There we go. This man and woman were captured in our village. They resisted arrest. And they shot five polizai dead. They call themselves partisans and claim to be fighting the enemies of the people. But that's what they are themselves, enemies of the people. We are so the shooting this guy. Are obliged to take extreme measures against these thugs. Don't listen to this bastard. Fascists and their minions are the real enemy. They're about to die. Follow me. Okay, we need to be there. Yeah, we need to kill quick here. Uh, there. You, have a task you get me. out of your disguise. They've seen us. I'll tread soft. Calm down. Hmm? Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, you. you. Everyone defensive fighting. Uh, you don't have a hiding spot, really. Uh, that's going to be a problem. Uh, actually, you run over there. You open fire. You that way. Teach them a lesson. Down. Okay. Uh, no. That one. Shotgun that one. Okay, he's gotten quite some wounds already. But why are we not in cover? And another one. Okay, there we go. That could have gone worse, could have gone better. Quick, grab the village head before he gets away. Your comrades hurt. Stay with him and we'll deal with the traitor. Only two soldiers and a boy. He has the Pelitzai on his side, and you don't have the advantage of surprise any longer. The villagers will take care of Comrade Kalagi. Like I'd mind. And it's like this is my worst nightmare. <laughs> Very well. Try not to get shot, though. Who are you, anyway? Red Army soldier Bella Zarova. Let's go and find the bastard. He went that way. He actually does point. And just to make it clear, the, the game points it out even further. Okay. I think we might actually be able to go back and loot the other places. 
Uh, he's just run off and hid in his own place. What? Okay. Hmm? And yeah, now we have <laughs> one more partisan and likely yet another one once we're done here. Time to act. Okay. But that's probably a good uh, spot to end it for today. Let's just loot the bodies. Uh, do it. Yeah, very likely. Uh, not enough Ooh, Luger. Okay. You can pick up some stuff as well. Okay. Pain toughens the spirit. Yeah, we'll need to. How are you doing? No, no injuries somehow. Okay. Save game. Uh, new save. Save. Okay. And yeah. Okay, yeah, we can go back and clear out the other half of the village later, but for now, let's see. Okay, <laughs> Pizza suggests Lazarus as a <laughs> for a raid, but let's go take a look all the same first. Yeah, so I'm remove the always on top. Uh, let's see, where did I leave Discord? Uh, there, I, I apparently minimized it. Okay, change window, uh, exception caught, what? Uh, okay, I'm not seeing whatever that might be for. Uh, there, Twitch, go live. Now let's have a look at who are online. Uh, there's Lazarus, as uh, Pizza said, who is doing his own outro. <laughs> uh, let's see, is it enough to fill? Yep, it is enough to overflow. Let's see. We have Katie, uh, no, Katie 120, who is playing Lethal Company. Yeah, as I said, Lazarus with Final Fantasy IV. And then, let's see... Uh, oh, Dugget Douglas McDug is playing Sonic and not Tomb Raider for once. <laughs> okay, anyone else you see there that might be of interest, or shall I take a pick? Uh, I'll let it there before I'm getting so tired. <laughs> okay, uh, let's go give Lash a visit then. Oh, oh, almost missed the L. There we go. Okay. Copy name. Slash raid and paste. Slash raid and paste. Okay, I forgot to unmute. Okay, it's a good thing that I, did, I didn't go look at someone. Uh, wait, is he not ending? Oh, wait, then why was... I didn't hear anything from him. Uh, yeah. Weird. Unless uh, it, no, it almost be so maybe. quick he didn't stop playing. Hmm. Okay, I'll need to check back on that, but minor Aaron, he's not ending it yet, Pizza. He's about to hit two hours, but I think he typically streams longer than two. Okay. Anyways then. Again, slash raid, paste. But before we start that, of course, thank you everyone who's watching now or later. Thank you, Pizza. Thank you, Big Trucker. And let's see, do we have any lurkers around? Uh, doesn't look like it, sadly. Oh, well. Hmm. Yeah, Alrighty, I think you said he was ending. Okay. No, he wasn't. And yeah, this music is surprisingly good for this game. I, I did not expect it. <laughs> and it yeah, just it breaks good. down into smooth... Uh, yeah, smooth piano, smooth guitar. Again, it is rare for us to find a game with bad music. Like, we have had, there has been found a game with bad music, but it's rare. Yeah. Also, there's some humming going on with this, so very much campfire feel, yeah. Uh, and the plane overhead. Yeah, I, 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 I like this track. It goes from a. Uh, Glorious military style to the reality of well the, the life of a partisan on the on the run hiding and just around the campfire. <clears throat> yeah, I am really liking this game so far. <clears throat> oh, yeah. oh yeah. For now though, uh, yeah, no new no more streams today because it's already the evening. But tomorrow we will have another Showcase Sunday, and probably 
Hard Space Shipbreaker in the evening, maybe something else. We'll see. It's there's a reason it's I call it the open spots or dealer's choice, whatever. It can be anything. <laughs> <clears throat> but yeah, for now, uh, let's get that rate started. And yeah, thank you all again for watching. It, it, thank you, Vatir. <laughs> we just always will forget to fool a friend. <laughs> uh, yeah, thank you all again for watching, and until next time, have a nice day, and until then. Peace, everyone. Thank you for watching, and watch out for undead seagulls. And police sign. Those two. <laughs> <laughs>